Hello friends, today we are back with a new tutorial about surface modeling. In previous video we learned about basic tools that we will use in surface modeling. In this video we will be modeling a little uh, some examples with surface modeling. So let's start. So in this video I will start with a very basic part like uh, our earphone okay so I will just start a sketch centerline and please don't mind the dimensions uh, I, I don't know what uh, what are the actual dimensions of that so I will just use some random dimensions okay Select the line to and create a tangent relation here. Mm, I don't want this coincident relation here. Just fix it. Now uh, I will just use it three. Let's use this plane. A tangent relation here. Another center line, tangent relation, ok I will now create a re revolved surface. Ok. Now I will create a sketch on right plane. I will extrude it outward. I will create a sketch on front plane. I will create a random line here and trim this. Sorry. This is a trim tool and I will remove this part for basic. Now I will again create a front plane, sketch on front plane. I will create a line here, something like this. Okay. Mm, okay. Surface, trim. Let's just move it a little more far away. Now lofted surface, I will select this, then this, sorry, front plane, I will move these connectors away, tangency to face, tangency to face, okay, 
I will have to adjust a, lit a little bit. Okay, something like this. Now I will create a sketch on top plane. I will create a circle here. Linear pattern. Uh, Two mm. Okay. circular pattern this point let's see how many times we can do that okay, this looks enough 32 circular pattern let's say 28 24 20 again circular sketch pattern 12 ok maybe 6 times yeah 6 times I will go to surface trim trim surface this time I will use the keep selection here because the number of faces here are very large I cannot manually select all those little surfaces here little dots so I will just select this surface and keep selection okay now I will use the thicken tool now first we need to knit everything okay as you can see uh, <laughs> yeah this was a problem sure I didn't uh, thought it out copy surface I will just uh, hide this surface here I will now uh, this is where we use the delete face feature okay so basically what I did I created another surface here now thicken let's say 2 mm a lot to um, is too much let's say one the randoms are uh, the dimensions are totally random okay I'm not sure about the dimensions so I'm just assuming all the dimensions so that it looks something like in earphone okay so if you have the exact dimensions then you can make it more better since I didn't had any dimensions so this basically this is the working method okay I will just view display tangent edges visible and now I will just section view okay front plane okay now uh, in my video tutorial about customizing SOLIDWORKS interface, interface I told you about intersection curve so this is where we will be using this command okay so basically what intersection curve did did I was uh, sketching on front plane so it created a curve on the intersection of front plane and this and this surface so basically it is like convert entity but uh, but it create uh, the purpose 
we achieved was for convert entities but I used intersection surfaces I will convert these to construction geometry I will just create a uh, if you hover your point uh, here for a while you can create a tangent relation mm, I couldn't do it doesn't matter you can do it manually like this now vertical and okay so now we will just do it like this equal relation let's make it equal also okay uh, I will create a center line here surface revolved surface okay now I will go to surface body select this in feature I, I created a split feature here if you uh, in my video about customizing solid inter interface I told you about this how to create your own environment and create edit toolbars for your own commands if you cannot find split here you can go to insert feature and split I selected the surface we created if you can uh, you can also select it from here and then click cut bodies now I will select this body and this body and click OK. Now basically what we got was two parts here. Let me remove disable the section view. I will delete this surface body from here. Delete body. Now we have two parts here. One is the lower part and the other is the upper part. So basically we also you know splitted these two bodies the, this uh, one solid body into two parts which is actually how it is okay so uh, thanks for watching this video uh, in my next part we will talk about another surface 3d model and we will be learning more about the other commands little more about thank you for watching and please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you have a nice day